What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna raid Shadow Legends. As you can see, I just pulled a legendary and I got the extra on the extra legendary one. So I don't know how any of these characters do, but I'm sure they're good because they're legendary. They most definitely can help my account out. But I wasn't trying to pull them. My intent was to pull my <laughs> I looked at the extra I said, I looked here and said, oh, we got that. Wait, hold on. Did something just happen? No, I did pull, I, I think I pulled 10. Yeah, I think I might've had 18. And I, I came on here and I was like, okay, let me look. I was like, oh, we get extra here. And I'm guessing we only get that once because I was looking at it, it was on here and now it's gone. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna pull my mystery shards real quick so I can do my, um, I'm, I, I was trying to do my um, dailies and I ended up pulling a 10 pool here. And so let's look at the kits of these new legendaries. And I literally was thinking about, uh, Stop playing, stop and playing this game soon. But maybe we're gonna keep playing Ray Shot Legends. And maybe I'm just gonna update you guys as things happen on my account instead of just stopping day. I was doing it day by day. But when the legendary, uh, when the fusion came out, I kind of was feeling burnt out on this game. And I really want to go for Onella, but what I did is I only got this one character one time because like that's realistic for like if i'm not playing a lot getting just this three star that i don't have is cool now even getting just one of her would have been like good for my account because like i don't have her and she probably would have boosted us up a little bit depending on what she got on her kit but i didn't really look at her kit yet anyway guys let's look at this at the kits here so I'll, I, I do have another video to show off too, so if you guys are gonna see another, probably two videos go up today, but we got Shirima, Shiramini, Shiramani, something like that. Shirimani, Shiramani. All right, let's look at her skills. Bolts of cold. Attacks three times at run chance of planet freeze. That's cool. She's a support. She has a heal. Heals one ally by 50%, other allies by 20%. So we can replace our uh, um, spirit host for her, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. Um, she gets a continuous heal. That's kind of a weak heal, right? I don't know. We have to see. When she heals by 50%, she get everybody else continuous heal. And then her last ability, attacks all enemy, has an eighty percent chance of placing freeze. I kind of like this kit, and not because of the freeze, but just because she's a support. But she has some attack abilities too, so I can probably build her H tanky. We probably want to build her tanky, tanky with attack. Maybe not the crit. I don't know. We'll see about doing crit. We'll have to see. And let's check out this other guy. Blood gorged. Got the undead people coming out from behind him. All right. Attacks one enemy two times, has a 55% chance of placing decrease defense debuff. So he's a de defense debuffer. Attacks all enemy put one of their target skills on cooldown. Oh, that's kind of interesting. This thing like an arena skill, maybe? I can see it probably being useful in some 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 other content. Attacks one enemy and ignores defense. If this ignores defense, do it even matter about putting crit or crit damage on him? Now he's an attack champion. But if he's already ignoring defense on his de on his uh the pack <laughs> on his um Decapitate, then we should probably should just like feel him with attack. 
Wait, why is this? Oh, it, it, oh, this attacks all enemies too. Okay, but got two. Wait, that only take one person. So this is his AOE, and the other two are single damage. But not a bad kit. Most definitely, both of these can help my account. Right now, I only had Ronda. She um, was the main person. I was getting ready to six star her. As you see, I down here, I was putting food up. Like I said, I got the shields, the Death Knights over here, bringing them up. And also, we pulled some other rares. So, this is the one from the Fusion Shadowbow Tyrolek. I wanted to check this, look like a female too, by the face, but maybe not. I can't really tell. My big guy. Look at that face in the background. The backgrounds are so cool. Anyway. Then we got Hellborn Sprite. She has a heal reduction. She could be good in some content. So those are some rares that could help us out. Pentient. Never heard of this character. Counterattack. Places a counterattack buff on only on herself. Okay, well she's kinda like a um, she reminds me of um, having that skill. Reminds me of uh, Executioner. Well, all right, guys. That's oh, we got him, Renouncer. Um, I don't have any kind of interesting things on his kit. I don't know. It might be a little bit interesting. He's an attacker. Removes a random buff, so he's a he negates boss basically he could be in the arena I feel like he might do good in the arena I might put him in the arena places one attack he get this attack after he's, he's ascended attack one enemy places a 15% increase per on buff on all allies and we can make him fast I wonder is it, if his stats are actually like start off uh, his speed base speed kind of low all right, guys. Oh, wait, Mr. Can, I almost forgot about you, bro. Just chilling down there, being an assassin. Did we get her too? Maybe. Let's check out Mr. Can first. He's from the Dark Elves, Block Buffs, Steals, Random Buffs. So he's another buff denier. Okay, well that's it. That really is it this time, guys. But let's put this. Go, I'm gonna continue to do my um, my dailies while I uh, man, we got some challenges done too. But like, I was really feeling burnt out on this game, and I was thinking about taking a kind of a break from it because I was just like super overwhelmed to the point of I'm just gonna pick this stuff up we, we, uh, does it go here no it doesn't uh, whatever we'll just do it we'll get get it when we get it but um really kind of burn out uh, it's not that it's so much going on at one time it don't have this game doesn't have a um like a rotation it seems like there's never anything not going on. Whether it's a shard event or some sort of tournament going on. And I guess it's probably where the game is set up. That reason why something has to always be going on. Even though like a game like Epic 7, which I also play. They have those little buffs where you might be just farming up stuff. It, it might be a weekend where you just farm up stuff, but you also have side stories or ancient adherence and stuff going on. So they only do that every so often. Whereas this, you got this event going on. And like right now, this anniversary, fourth anniversary for this game, but you might have all this going on. So you got the fusion event for Valentine's Day, because of course they could skip Valentine's Day. And then you got the anniversary going on. So whatever that event is, and then you got tournaments are going on non-stop non-stop tournaments 
And you most definitely can't touch the tournaments all the time because, I mean, you could be doing some of this stuff, but it takes your attention away from other stuff if you're not. So, for sure, this game has a lot going on. So, I just need to come up with a goal and this and be like that's what we are going toward and that's what we need to be doing and i'm put them throw him in here so that we can uh what is that i don't know what that symbol is oh guardian ring oh okay 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 i do know what this is we are not anywhere for putting people in the guardian ring yet so we don't even care about that right now but uh there is always something going on in this game. And that's, like, think about it. All these fragment events, and sometimes they rotate. I think some of these do come back occasionally. Why, why are these showing red like I can do anything with these? I don't have these shards, any of these shards. It's kind of annoying, because the red dot, I thought it symbolized that, hey, you got something you should be getting. Not look at me. I'm a shark fragment. Or like, at least to be like this red dot under this one. There's a lot of work to be done in this game. And I don't know if they have, they short on help or just have, that they don't know how to fire the team up and conquer some things or what. But they really do need to work on this game and uh, get some things in order so that they can grow. Because right now, the people who play in this game for the most, for the longest guys, y'all, y'all, the true, y'all, the truth out here. Because I'm not going to lie. That's why I play this game on and off because. I see some growth and I'll come back and I'll be like, yeah, y'all doing something. And then I play and I'm like, uh, y'all trying something, not doing something. And I need to do a lot less trying and a lot more of, um, uh, oh, do I get to just click this? Oh, huh, that's cool. I thought maybe I had the bodies down here. Okay. I mean, I guess player points are okay. Passively, it's passive is something to do. Do I get these on my phone? Probably not. But if that's the case, then what's, that's even more content and stuff that, like, special and exclusive. You shouldn't do that. Stuff shouldn't be exclusive from phone to PC. But anyway, guys, I'm, I'm stopping rant here. I'm going to go back to farming food. Uh, and you have to see one, another video of mine coming up. And I'm going to show you basically the direction I'm going in my account. And, you know, you'll see um, a special build that I'm working on for one of my characters. Like, it really helped me. I can show you right now. I'm in Brutal Campaign now. But I'm not only the beginning of it. But... This build I did kind of helped me. I don't know. And I'm going to show some of you guys. So maybe if you want to use this or if somebody in the future can use this build, you'll see that in the next, in that video that's going up too. So, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, just leave me a comment if you feel like you agree with some of the stuff that I was talking about. Anyway, guys, have a good day.